Learning Objectives After completing this module, learners will be able to understand what is equilibrium, learn about the out of equilibrium behavior, understand how the shifts of demand and supply curves affect in equilibrium prices and quantity, understand wage determination in labor market, understand shifts in demand and supply, learn about the free entry and free exit of the firms in the perfect competitive economy, understand the criteria of price flooring, agricultural price support, program and minimum wage rate legislation. Equilibrium, Excess Demand and Excess Supply What is Equilibrium? In Equilibrium, in short, the total quantity that all firms want to sell equals with the entire quantity that all consumers want to buy in the market. In this regard, it becomes the perfect match between the plans of the consumer and firms in the market. Eventually, the equilibrium price signifies the price fixed at the point of the equilibrium and the specific quantity being bought and sold are called equilibrium quantity. Thus, in the price P, the market demand QD and market supply QS gets equal with the equilibrium point. Excess Demand and Excess Supply When market supply causes greater amount than the market demand, we call it excess supply and when the market demand being greater than the supply, it creates the excess demand. In the competitive market, the equilibrium point is the culmination point of zero additional demand and supply respectively. In phases of non-equilibrium, when the supply does not get equals with the demand, the price happens to change. Out of equilibrium behavior It was believed that one invisible hand being responsible to increase the price whenever in the market. It creates the excess demand and it happens opposite. That is, price gets reduced when the supply increases, it eventually helps to attain the equilibrium as well in the long run. Market Equilibrium in Fixed Number of Firms and Labor Market Market Equilibrium in Fixed Number of Firms In a perfectly competitive market where the number of firms is fixed, the market supply curve for a distant commodity shows the supplies of the firm at different prices and the demand curve tells us the quantities of the commodity, the consumer being ready to purchase at different prices. Market price, supply and demand in interaction. If all other things remain constant, when the price rises, the demand falls and the eventually increased supply tries to get the match between the supply and demand. On the other side, when the supply exceeds and consequently the price reduces, it happens that some firms being unable to provide the commodities in the reduced price. Wage Determination in Labor Market For commodities, the households are the buyer, but in the labor market, Households are the supplier of the labor and the firms are the buyer. In this market, the labor depicts the hour of works done by the laborers, not the numbers of laborers. Here, the wage rate is calculated when the demand and supply curves of labor intersect each other at the equilibrium point. When the value of marginal product of labor is greater than the wage rate, the firm continues to earn more profit by hiring one more unit of labor. But 
when it becomes less than the prevailing wage rate the firm starts to increase the profit of lessening one unit of labor from employment it has two effects on households when households supply labors one is to enjoy the leisure and the second one is spending more time in work in order to earn more money that is exactly found the when the wage rate increases while the opportunity cost of leisure makes it costlier when the individual works for more hours their purchasing power increases and thus the requirement of leisure again starts to augment eventually shifts in demand and supply demand shift for the reason of changes in one or more than one factors like preferences of the consumers price of the commodities consumers incomes technology used in the production market size inputs price in the production and many others the supply and demand curve or each of them may shift and which implies the change in equilibrium price and the quantity of the commodities here due to the excess supply we can see that demand decreases from q2 to q3 the g point where the equilibrium point did not match so the price reduced as p0 where at the point of e the equilibrium point has been created after the demand increases a bit to q0 from q3 due to increase the salary of the consumers for normal goods the quantity used to be increased so the demand curve shifts rightward but the supply curve remains unchanged so in this case the price of normal goods gets higher and the quantity being demanded is also higher if the number of the consumers will be increased the demand curve will shift rightward similarly to supply shift when supply curve shifts leftward excess demand will occur which eventually will cause to price rise at the time of its shifting rightward due to excess supply few firms will opt to reduce the price and the market price will be reduced simultaneous shifts in demand and supply when both supply and demand curves will shift uniformly rightward quantity of demand will be increased but the price may stay unchanged or may increase decrease when both of them will shift leftward the price may stay unchanged or may increase decrease but the quantity of demand will be decreased market equilibrium free entry and exit free entry and exit when such situation arrives that in a distinct market price every firm enjoys super normal profit then many other firms want to enter in the system it will decrease the percentage of profit and then the firms only earn the normal profit then we can say that the equilibrium price equals with minimum average cost of the firms at the time comes when many firms see that the price prevailing in the market being lesser than the minimum average cost of the production they tend to leave the market thus it will create the condition where the existing firms will start to enjoy more profit and then it will be similar to their normal profit being greater than the minimum average cost of the production equilibrium price and quantity determination in a perfectly competitive market in the phases of free entry and exit the equilibrium price gets equal to minimum average cost line and the quantity in equilibrium is determined at the intersection point of the market demand with the price line that is prevailing market price being equaled with minimum average cost of the firm shift in demand when demand curve shifts rightwards in a perfect competitive market there grows the excess demand of the commodity 
many consumers want to give extra price and thus the supernatural profit of the firms will be happened. But by the entries of new firms, the option of supernatural profits has been invalid and then the normal price has prevails in the market and it gets equal with minimum average cost of the firm. When the demand curve will shift leftward for excess supply, many firms will choose to exit being unable to lower their price. Then, in the new equilibrium, less quantity will be equal to the reduced demand in that specific price. Thus, due to shift in demand rightwards or leftwards, the equilibrium quantity and number of firms will increase or decrease, whereas price will remain unchanged. Application of Supply Demand Analysis Application of the Analysis We can see several situations where the government tries to regulate the prices of certain goods and services when their prices are too high or low from their optimum desired levels. Here the framework of the perfect competitive system is also very important where these regulations fall effects on the market. Price ceiling Government imposes upper limit of prices for several goods as they are regarded most useful goods while some section of the people in the society will not afford to buy the goods in that prevailing market price. When government tries to regulate the price, it reduces than the equilibrium level of the market, but the demand remains constant. Setting the price floor For certain goods, government needs to restrict the prices from further falling and it regulates the price limit in a distant slab, especially for agricultural products through different price support programs. Government does this to regulate the price limit of the goods. Here the price limit is set higher than the market driven price and by the aid of minimum wage rate legislations, government ensures that it does not fall below the limit. Such a way, the minimum wage rate is set higher than the equilibrium wage rate of the labor market. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. In a perfectly competitive market, equilibrium occurs where market demand equals market supply. Equilibrium is a situation where there is no tendency for any change. The equilibrium price and quantity are determined at the intersection of the market demand and market supply curves when there are fixed number of firms. Each firm employs labor up to the point where the marginal revenue product of labor equals to the wage rate. The entry and exits of the firms are dependent on the minimum average cost of the production of the firms in the market, with supply curve remaining unchanged when demand curve shifts rightward or leftward, the equilibrium quantity increases or decreases and equilibrium price increases or decreases with fixed number of firms. In a perfectly competitive market with identical firms, if the firms can enter and exit the market freely, the equilibrium price is always equal to minimum average cost of the firms. With free entry and exit, the shift in demand has no impact on equilibrium price but changes the equilibrium quantity and numbers of firms in the same direction as the change in demand. In comparison to a market with fixed number of firms, the impact of a shift in demand curve on equilibrium quantity is more pronounced in a market with free entry and exit.